Hello and welcome to another Decor Tips uh, Clutter with Truffleberry and my friend Twitch. Say hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, Truffle. What are, what are we going to do today? You're going to learn how to make your plots look really messy and good with clutter. How delightful. Yeah, I like messy. Like good messy though, not like, you know, messing up your life messy. Lots of shelves and uh, anything else for clutter. We're going to be trying to do like random misc clutter and bottle clutter and book clutter. So I hope that's, that seems to be the general stuff people do. Bottle clutter? Like drunks? Yeah, man. Have you not played this game? There are so many bars. Every other plot has a bar. Wait, there's not enough trash cans. That's true. You know, I don't think you've ever put a Where are all the bottle plot. caps? I have bottle caps on one of my bars. You can do it. So, obviously, the first part for for any kind of clutter is you need something to clutter, so we need, we need shelves. And uh, I don't think uh, pre-made shelves are good. I'm one of those people. And I think you should make shelves out of whatever you want. So I prefer to make it out of pretty, pretty pictures. Looks like a shelf because already. It's already a shelf, right? Uh, because if you flip it, it has this really cool grain. And it's great for clutter because it's just more attention for your eye to go to because it's more detail on the wood and everything. I don't know. Yeah, I like that it. is a very detailed grain. Yeah. The only problem with it is you have to find ways to hide uh, the rope, but if you have enough shelves, it goes away. It so looks, whatever. It looks very content. Why? Because it's got a smile. There we go. It's not really a smile. I think the biggest problem with using these is the fact that the underside uh, is a tree. So we have to uh, flip it and use two for everything. Really, clutter clutter is only good if you have a very high decor cap and don't plan on doing much else. Like, I like to clutter uh, small houses because then I don't have to worry much about actually building inside. Right, little you know? spaces. Yeah, it's, little it's very areas. much it's very much uh, qu or quality over quantity when it comes to this. I mean, there's still a lot of stuff, but you have less actual builds. And so, it's, once you have your shelves, it's, that's the most important thing is, is to figure out the actual spacing. So I try to have at least a stack of shelves because I think that the depth helps. It makes it look, uh, well, I guess, I guess more cluttered. And I'm one of those people who doesn't use Katia much, so it takes a real freaking long time. You can't even see what I'm doing because a lot of it's just tiny, tiny work. But if you look underneath, I've doubled it up, so yeah. the bottom isn't actually. And you really do have to hide the uh, the, ro the rope because a spike comes up from the screw that holds the picture on the wall or whatever. Yeah, the nail. I, yeah, the nail. There we go. Not a screw. I'm going to sound like a bumbling yeah, idiot while I do yeah, this. Here it looks like a support. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it can be used to, to look like pretty neat, but it also can just look like a death trap to <laughs> do it wrong. Yeah, don't get too close to the shelves. Here we go. might get strangled. Yeah, you might get a little strangled. It's fine. No big deal. So I think that the, the three shelves is important to do, especially for a tutorial like this, because a lot of people will have like one very different one very different shelf with a lot of different things, and then very similar things on the shelf above it. And I think it's important to kind of uh, understand what's around the clutter on all sides. So I put three shelves. Do you guys want to do books or bottles or misc first? Bottles. Bottles. I feel like at least fifty percent of my time in Wildstar has been placing bottles. 
The first thing about doing clutter is you need to basically look like a crazy person and stand right up on it. Because if you're standing far away, you're not going to be able to see the little tiny details. And one thing I think the most important thing to do with clutter isn't just having a ton of items in one space. It's to have a few key items surrounded by other numerous items. So say I wanted to have a bunch of bottles, I wouldn't just put a bottle down. I would find something in my crate, like say I wanted a fancy bottle, so I put down the Alchemist books. And I flip them around and all of a sudden I have nice bottles that stand out compared to the other ones. All right. And th those points that stand out are good for drawing the eye, so it's just not 60 wine bottles or whatever. It's interesting. Yeah, it's a focal feature. Yeah, absolutely. You, you have to think about that kind of stuff. Mm, so it's not so much a group as it is. It's, it's that, that one feature, that yes. feature items. You oh, yeah. Cool, cool. Feature items are very, 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 very important. And one thing I like to do, and I've only recently started doing, is actually uh, if you turn the lights down, you can also hide little tiny lights in the clutter, and it it just brings it to a whole new level. But also that can kill your lighting limit. That is one big thing to worry about. I have a small Orin house and uh, I am near a lighting cap in that tiny, tiny house because of it. And it's a scary place to be. I'm gonna make it spooky. We know that attracts items. Yeah, there we go, we'll make it spooky. You have some good stuff in your crate. So having little items like this that, you know, it may not necessarily look like alcohol, but you can put a bottle in it, and all of a sudden you've got spooky Jack Shadehead alcohol. And uh, that helps. That definitely, it helps not to have the very small amount of bottles we have over and over, because we only have access to how many bottles. So it definitely helps to make your own. And also helps your sanity, because you're going to have to put a lot. Shade Skull Vodka. Yeah, there you go. So here's some Shade Skull Vodka. As so I slowly try to sink a bottle into it. I'm a big fan of the file, the really super tall one. I think that it makes any item look super good. Because it's easy. Look, all of a sudden you've got this weird bottle. Right, and... you were talking about that piece. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I have this, I have this one. Wow. Yeah. And it's, I mean, if you can dye them and you can make them look so different and, and, and some of the bottles really do work well dyed with other items. Like it looks like it is a decor item, like your, your custom bottle. So it helps. I also think one thing to do is uh, don't, while I say standing there is important, you have to back up. You just keep moving back and forth to, to look at it. Because do that skull thing with the candle too, couldn't you? That'd be pretty cool looking as well. Yeah, oh, absolutely. That'd be some more clutter. Oh, there's so you can clutter with anything if you're determined enough. Anything at all. But yeah, so once you have a few key pieces, you can start cluttering, really. So you start off with like focal points. Yeah, focal they give points. you a theme for the shelf. Right, they draw the eye. Huh. Yeah, and then you you just kind of fill in the blank. So say I have, you know, 10 giant shelves. I'll go through, and instead of starting in one spot and just going, you know, and filling it up slowly, I'll work on it as I'm building the rest of the plot and put focal points as I go. And then the last thing I'll do is I'll come to my, my shelf that got all these focal points and just spend so much time filling it in. So much time. I never would have guessed that you start out with focal points first and then fill it in. I thought you just fucking went with just no, it's actually very, fucking uh, random shit. That's what uh, I thought you did. <laughs> no, no. Uh, and another thing is, if you've got shelves and you're going to be making them uh, a bit deeper than normal, you know, like you don't want it to just be one line of bottles, um, make the bottles in the back bigger because it definitely, just, just the perspective of it helps. And of yeah. course, always, always, always rotate and move your bottles if you are using Katia. Thank you. When they're all facing the same way, it looks terrible. 
That's not how a bar works. And it's it's very much, I think, the most important thing to remember is just be patient. Yeah. When when you when you've placed five hundred bottles and you really need to walk away, walk away. Come back to it later. You'll like how it looks when Only you're done. Only when you hit five hundred. You, I mean, I have a, a much higher limit because I've done right. this for so long. I'm Whenever you dulled to it. Eye strain, and you have to take a blink break. Yeah, or you know, you just really want to build something that's not bottle after bottle after bottle. Only when you hit five hundred, though. Five hundred is uh, pretty low, so you know yeah, you can number, make it longer than that. Then you can Two thousand. Another thing uh, that I have recently been playing with is you don't really have to dye them all because that can get really expensive pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, so I try to, I wait until I have, I don't know, like I'll, like for example these, I'll wait until I have like to the end of the shelf and then after that I will go in and dye like maybe two tops because it's expensive. You know, if dying, when you're doing this much clutter, it gets so expensive. So it definitely helps. And that helps cut up the, the clutter even more. You're giving yourself even smaller uh, focal points. Yeah, and those bottles are getting smaller and smaller. And smaller. Yeah, and so it's giving you perspective and it's depth. Right, it's you can see everything. Yeah, and, and then, too, if you have a larger focal piece more in the back, too, it's going to get, I don't know, it, it really highlights everything. Because you don't want to, like, build some awesome bottle and then have it hidden by all these plain bottles, you know. But really, the cool thing about the, you know, dyeing them is it could be any one of them. It doesn't really matter which one. I wouldn't put two dyed bottles next to each other, but, you know, it doesn't really matter past that. So many more focal points. It's time to dig through your crate and figure out what I should make into a bottle. Mm. I figure you can make almost anything into a bottle, honestly. I don't even know how much is in that crate. There's not much in here. It doesn't seem like a lot now that I... I'm looking at this shelf. It's only like a third full. <laughs> and this is. I'm being very sparing with these bottles. Yeah, but I get it. It's it's not uniform. It's organic. Not at all. It, it's realistic. And you can really turn anything into clutter. I mean, uh, I can't really hide it well here, but even most builders probably already know about this. Here. But, uh, oh, I'm getting traded. Oh, why are you, Take that's that a lot of money. Take that for extra bottles. Uh, okay, uh, th your, thank you. It's your bottle budget. Oh, okay. <laughs> it might make it. Uh, one thing is, you can turn anything into clutter. That's not a bottle. It is too. Sure it is. Oh, I'm sorry. Event. I apologize. You were talking about bottle caps. If you can hide it, absolutely. Look at that. I, hide I, it, I do this on my bars all the time. Hey, look, go look, go look it off the top of the shelf now. There's a you bottle gotta cap. You got shitting me. There's a bottle and there's some there's, other clicker. There's a bottle cap. I got beer bottle decor. What's that champ's head though, man? Look at that. Yeah, you hide it. You, you gotta hide that hide with. It. Uh, I hid mine with a cooler. Turn it into a, a bottle. Yeah. Wait, look. Yeah, he was right. Boom. There you go. Although they're a bit small. Huh. If you're determined enough, man, you can you can do whatever <laughs> whatever you want, really. Two there bottles with that one piece better. plus yeah. Oh wait, that's good. Something that looks like it might be a fridge. Hey look, I even decorated the outside of the shelf. Boom. Got this little thing now. <laughs> Look at that. Got some lights going on. Yeah, that's builder magic. That's that's something that absolutely helps. Uh, like, see how the lights are actually blinking? This is an accidental thing. Builder magic. Uh, things that, yeah, same things that blink or move or like lights. Absolute. That brings it up to two. That brings it to a whole new level. But not a lot. Like, use them as your focal pieces. Right, it attracts the attention of the eye. Yeah. And it, it... Bottles are great. Oh, you have some heads. Let's make some heads in the bottles. Head of Rathbone would make a good bottle. Wow, it doesn't 
fit very well. This is how you know I don't do much content. I'm like, wow, this head works weird. And I think that honestly, if you, a lot of bars and like RP bars and whatnot, if you craft your own bottles, you know, that's just the whole new aspect of RP you can use. Yeah, that, that looks good like a good around. brandy. Yeah. Oh yeah, like Rathbone brandy. I don't know why, but I'm just... I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for. Marveling? Just like the, the whole... You putting that top of that thing up underneath that shelf to... Oh, there's another the item that does it too. I thought it's, it's builder just... magic. It's, it's one of those happy accidents. It's like, the word is not impressive, but it's close. It's just like... You gotta be fucking shitting me. Oh, now I can dye things, too, because you gave me all that bottle money. I'm just looking at this, and I'm just thinking, you did all that. That is Rathbone Brandy. <laughs> that is Rathbone Brandy. There we go. But I don't think Rathbone Brandy would be that good. Well, it depends, I, it depends on how it's brewed. Or, you know. I try to color it so it matches the decor item that you're clipping it into, essentially. Mm -hmm. So it looks, you know, a little, a little bit more uniform. Let's make it yellow. It looks a little bit. It makes, it makes the item pop, too. My right. phone is going off. Yeah, it brings it out. That's fucking oh, creepy. <laughs> it's so <laughs> creepy. <laughs> I would drink that by my fireplace in my den. We're saying it's, just, it's, it's a fucking creepy bottle. Yeah, this this, this is the type of thing that people will have in their trophy room. This is a bottle. It's just a. It's just kind of a plain bottle, and there's like this screaming fucking skull flying yeah. out of it. Scowling. You tell me you wouldn't drink it. I would no. totally drink it. I wouldn't drink it. I would totally. Drink I would. I would sip it. I'd drink it, and then I'd keep the bottle. Is it orange soda in it? I'd drink it then. Give me whatever you want. It's a handmade bottle. It could be mustard. It's mustard. If, if that was a mustard, the fuck if I'm eating that? I ain't no mustard with no damn skull coming out of it. Means your butthole's gonna be tingling. You eat that shit. Hiding another item for you tomorrow. That's why he's smiling. You got a trophy? Well, oh, you yeah. got more beer bottle. Another beer, beer bottle. Yeah. Another bottle there. Only problem is I can't rotate them. Well, that is a speaker. Yeah, that bottle wants me to activate it. Yeah, that's a speaker, so you know. It wants you to grab it and get a drink. You're at a bar. You got all this shit shoved in the wall. Oh yeah, to get, always. To get a bottle. Absolutely. It's, it makes it better. <laughs> Listen, if they gave us more bottles, if they just gave us the beer bottles, you wouldn't have to do this. I want, a beer, I want this Protostar beer. I made a protostar, um, a protostar bottle, and it's supposed to be pickle schnapps. <laughs> it's disgusting. You know you want some pickle schnapps. Pickle oh, head. Yeah. That's terrible. Well, because their head looks like a pickle. Pickle heads. Yeah, I've never, man. I've never even had schnapps. I've had like peppermint schnapps, of course. Oh god. It's really good. I can't stand peppermint. How are you even a person? I don't like I don't like mint. I just can't stand. Oh my mint. gosh! It makes me nauseous. That day. Oh my gosh! Just I had peppermint tea nauseous. last night. Yeah, if you want to make me sick, just give me peppermint, and I'll be like, you'll be like, here, try this, and I'll eat it. And I'll be like, no, nah, I'm sick now. Thank you. <laughs> this is <laughs> a very it. sharp mint. It's instant. It's like instant. Like, oh, you've done it. I keep accidentally using my tokens. That is a weird colored skull right there. I was it's gonna like say, a, that's, that's a. It's got green choice. shit on him. Does it look green to you? To me, it's like a whitish color. Oh, it's lighting, like white it's, with like green. It's white, but it, yeah, like I think it's might, because might be of the color bouncing off the on wall. It. Oh, yeah, it's, it's been there too long. It's the lighting. It's been there way too long. That is a creepy skull. Finding focal points in your crate is much harder than I thought. I thought you'd have this crazy cool cool crate. More random shit. I need just like I a mean, crate that's 
been added to over a wild star lifetime. That would be Zimpty the damn Oren's house. Clearly I should build you a shelf there. It's just crazy. Are there bananas in the crate? There better be bananas. I should make banana alcohol. There are no there bananas, are no bananas. In the crate. Okay. Zimpty the damn Oren has been day corn since... Let's see. I could make banana alcohol. I tend to not make my, my bottles either on the actual shelves. Like, I end up having, like, a little workstation. So say I'm, you know, putting down, like, 50 friggin' wine bottles, and I see an, an item that I think would do well as a bottle, I'll just slap it down on my little quote-unquote workstation. And then when I have quite a few items built up, I'll make a bunch of bottles and add them in where I think I need more focal points. Stairs at the, the beer bottles. It's fun. Well, how many pieces have we got? Five beer bottles. That's four pieces. Oh, five beer. Yeah, that's four pieces of decor. It's four pieces of decor. That's that's great. Granted, uh, the speakers are like two gold a piece, though. So for one beer bottle. Yeah. A bit much. No, I have a couple of speakers. So, I mean, it's not that bright. No, no, it's not. But, I mean, just, you know, if you want to have a ton of them. Because that's one thing with oh, clutter is odd. there's always a ton. You just... <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to actually activate it. <laughs> that's funny. That's the best thing about speakers when they're sunken in. They do stuff. That's great. Turn them all on. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Dancing beer. All that with four pieces. Truffle. 525 2017 invented dancing beer. Proud, finally. I've mounted something that's not just making things real messy. Un Shelf. Oh, a banana there bottle. Go. There you go. It's a banana bottle up top. Eagles on the top. It's important. Top shelf. It's one thing. You're totally going what? to need, like, scaffolding while you shelf. Especially if you play a smaller race, which most of us do. Even though Draken are the best. You should put that in the video. The Draken are the best. So people get real mad. Don't actually do that. People are gonna hunt me down, all the orange lovers. Ooh, Stormtown is amazing, Clutter. It's gonna be huge for it. Well, it's not that big. Stormtown's always fun. Some of them are good. Uh, some of them, if you care about noise, are terrible. Like, oh, yeah. the Metal Maw is so loud. And I don't know, I think people should care about the actual sound. There we go. See, and they're good because, like like I said earlier, he moves and he shimmers, so it's another point for your eye. <laughs> they're just going. So that's, that's just alright. Okay, that should be okay, It's a happy bar. So, okay, so once you're doing your clutter and you've got the different focal points and you're starting to fill in the bottles, one really important thing is so I've got these orange bottles here. I have to make sure on the shelf above it and next to it, I don't use bottles. I don't use the same bottles because that's just an intense amount of repetition. It makes it look bad. So I'm gonna wanna repeat different bottles, preferably even of different colors. So like next to it, I'm probably gonna, I'd probably do uh, more wine bottles uh, because they're green. Uh, and maybe up here do vial uh, because you know, obviously they're a much different color and once you've got a clutter of both of those, it's kind of like, you can use those orange bottles again down the line. Right, you break it up. Yeah, you definitely need to break it up, because if you're not paying attention to what's on the shelves above and below your clutter, it's going to mess up how it looks. Because people are taking it in as a whole, not as a, each individual item. 
looks like there's a science to it. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't really call it a science. It's just, I don't know. It's, oh. Uh, what's your eyeball like? It's a lot more complicated than is that a horde symbol. It's a lot more complicated than I was expecting it to be. That's for sure. I thought you just play shit on a shelf. Now no, you, you're like oh, you're God, like no. organizing clutter. You're like oh, absolutely. You're Actually, like um, you guys of the clutters like. When we look at the houses, I actually want to show uh, Yia's house again a little because that's one I did without really working on clutter as much. Like that was the first house I cluttered, really. And now going back, like it doesn't do any of this and you can kind of tell that it's not that good anymore. Was Yia more of a slap it down? Yia was like my first house I tried to make very, very, very uh, chaotic inside. And mm -hmm. then I realized I really liked it. So I kept doing it, and I got better. Okay, okay. But I mean, it definitely you you can tell. Like I have shelves where it's just kind of like random things placed that don't really fit very well. You know, it's it doesn't. Uh, yes, no I, flow. I did have questions looking at some of the shelves. Yeah, it's, it's so she's her plot's on a you know eventually going to get created list. It was yeah. a workshop. It was your first workshop. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, it'll be better. It'll totally be 100% better. It's a good thing we're going to go tour it again. All right. Although I figure I'm going to show you guys her bot shop over her house. Because inside her house has the shelves that we can show those for like a little while that are just terrible. Um, but the bot shop, because clutter isn't always on shelves. It's everywhere. You can, you can make anything messy with enough effort. Um, but... It the the bot shop is less shelves and more just living space mess essentially. I mean, I can dye things to make it to show that off. Yeah, I'm a big fan of ground clutter. Oh, I oh yeah, everything everything can be a mess. Yeah, trash strewn about. I love lots of stuff. Oh, you're like gonna that. love Ian's plot. It's a total trash pit. No, I've seen the bot shop. Oh, yeah. have you seen it since I added all the new stuff? No. It's got like four stories now. Just been in I got... clutter house. Oh yeah, it's it's a bit insane now. So yeah, see, like there's folk forts. I made them all red. I just realized that I like red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it yeah, see, like it, it it breaks it up. It absolutely 100% breaks it up. And like the uh, wine bottles there with the big bottle behind it, like just even as a background, it helps. One thing yeah. you have to worry about with it. Um, it's just like a graphical error. Say you're using the bottle with a note, for example, anything that's a glass, like those bottles in the back or the bottle with a uh, note in it. Uh, if you have glass in front of glass, it can look pretty funky. Yeah, tra like, tra transparent glass disappears within each other. Yeah, so if you look behind the bottle I just placed, it's like the thing behind it is gone. So you have right. to I can kind only of worry see that about one it. Bottle, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, so that's like a big problem considering we have so many bottles and one of them makes each other disappear. It kind of sucks. I like the one pink one. <laughs> it helps break it up. Totally helps. Yep, and it's also it's sharp, so it draws the eye. Yeah. He gets it. Yeah, with a bright cork. And plus, if you like gold plate, it could be blood wine for a dragon. Right. It's, it's some other kind of wine, right? Yeah, yeah like when we use purple for dreamberry wine. Yeah, exactly. One thing I find when I'm doing clutter is I spend like at least 20% of my time just kind of scrolling through my crate, looking for random stuff to make it a little more diverse. I think that that definitely helps. Let's do bulk up these bottles back here uh the the vials are amazing for if you don't have a lot of color contrast they they break it up quick because they dye really well and they're odd shapes so that definitely uh makes it all look a little funkier and look a good bit they are odd looking but yeah they die completely when you dye them yeah it's great they can be a bottle of any kind, and you can you know, put them inside other pieces to make them into bottles. 
I like them because like you don't have to have a lot of them. If you're willing to dye them all, you don't have to have a lot of them to make it look like you have a lot of different bottles. They also like I've make got good bowling pins. Yeah, I saw that. That was such a great plot. Mm -hmm. Someone who uh, really likes to go bowling. That's awesome. <laughs> bowling. Oh my god. Bowling is fun. There you go. Work at a bowling alley. Them hoverboard punks need some place to hang oh, out. Oh my god, it is so good. Super quiet as I start no, it's cool. Yeah. You're, you're breaking it up with different sizes. Oh, these! I, oh, I, you've, I don't. I'm like worried. I'm going to show you guys things everyone else is showing you. Um, so these bottles are super cool because they do the most awesome effect if you stack them. Let's see. Let's do green shows up pretty good. Uh, you can make like weird stripey bottles. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh. So you basically just stack them, like, using Katia on top of each other, and then you rotate it slightly, and it creates this cool stripey effect. And really, if you need a color break, that's a, that, that is totally draws the eye, you know? That's a very cool trick. Yeah, I, I think that it, it helps. It, it makes, you know, if you need some funky-looking bottles, it, it definitely uh, lights yeah, things up. I've achieved that stripiness with certain pieces of decor. It's hard sometimes. <laughs> Some of the more flat items can be pretty hard to, to use. This this shelf doesn't have enough focal. I tend it's once you you realize the pattern for the different items, it kind of you know it's like every so often there's an, an item like this middle shelf here needs one in the middle. It absolutely you can't just have a bulk of bottles there. That would look bad. Right. Ooh, you have one of my favorite items for the shelves. Oh, that I just recently where, started. Where are the using. cocoa monkey drinks? Do we There's, not have any? There, there are no cocoa monks in this. These are amazing for these because they sit in the back. They're not. They almost look like bottles, you know. Yeah. You can either have them thin, or you can have the, or you can either have the handle one way or the other, depending on how much uh, attention it needs. And really, it just it gives off such like a nice warm light. It's a bottle for explorers. Yeah, there you go. For, for mm -hmm. escape, spelunking. If you need uh, either some alcohol or uh, a lantern, it's got you. I'm amazed at that bottle striped shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, yeah, That's I do like weird. it when, when that works. On top of everything else, those those bottles are good for those files. They they do so many things. Well, here's one of my favorite items to turn into a drink. The hazard cone. The hazard cone it... into a drink? Oh, Indeed. absolutely! It's, it's, you know, it's got a very slight movement to it, it's a bright color, and it just goes really well on top of a bottle. Alright, like a bottle cap. Yeah, exactly! You know, really, what I'm saying, like I said, I'm going to be doing the books and all that. Uh, it's it's really the same idea. Like, with books, you mean you do different tricks, of course, because you're not going to have bottles. But it's really the same idea of you have different focal points, and those different focal points help cut up the clutter, but also make it look a little messy. Yeah, I have stacked bookshelves before with individual books. It's, it's, it's daunting, but there, there, there are a lot of different types of books, and you can really break it up. Folklore. Oh, there are not even nearly enough books. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I need die. there anymore. Well, you die. You can. Uh, one thing I like to do is uh, I make the stack, or I make, I put them on the uh, the shelf, and I'll pull one out slightly. I'll show you. <laughs> I'm working on a library currently, so I'm stuck on these. Like a cone hat, brandy. Did I make a shelf for books and start on that? Because I feel like I've been on bottles forever. You've been on bottles or... for a while. Okay, should I, should, I, should I move on? Sure, we've, we've shifted topics to books. Let's, okay. let's do books. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Books time. Woo! I don't trust that cone hat brandy anyway. I don't like reading. 
Yay! How do you not like reading? I'm dyslexic. Oh, I know that feel. Yo, I I feel that I'm dyslexic too. I just you know. We put school in too big of a paragraph. I can't see the lines in between other lines. I had to like learn how to cheat in school by using like a piece of paper to go down slowly. It's annoying. I Real had annoying. to learn how to do nothing because I was in the special classes. <laughs> you can read I, Dr. Was... Seuss pretty well. Hey man, Dr. Seuss is some good that stuff. That was a joke. It was great. Okay, okay, okay. I'm I did a, I did a special thing on, on my other YouTube channel called Dyslexic Storytime where we read Dr. Seuss books. <laughs> it was great. It was actually really bad. Funny. Okay, we're only gonna. I'm gonna actually move on. Because, I mean, books, while, while it's important to have different clutter with books, like, make them look different, you can only do so much. But I do have a couple, of, like, tricks I like to use to make the books uh, a little different. So it's not bad to have a bunch of the same books over and over because book sets exist. But I wouldn't always do that because if you've ever been to a library, it's never like that. You know, set after set. Yeah, I do like having like a messy shelf, and then on the very top one, having like all of the same, like it's you know your general, everyone you know that encyclopedia set. Top you know, shelf. Yep. yeah, top shelf that no one actually touches. Yeah, and that's that's a symptom as well. I noticed, like you know, there's some bookshelves that, depending on how you scale them, that top shelf is just too high for certain characters. Oh, I just stand on stuff. You know, but you need, you know, yeah, you need a ladder or something. And yeah. That's that's good for certain libraries, but like in your house, you, you need everything to be down at your level. Let's see. Oh, these are totally not straight. It's fine. It's fine. So, say you have a hunk of books like this. One thing I like to do to differentiate is, I mean, it's 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 a library. It's books. You know, not everyone is very neat. You can pull one out oh so slightly, like someone didn't shove it all the way in, right? Or, uh, one thing uh, a friend actually showed me, uh, I did not come up with this entirely on my own, is you can flip it and have a different style book, almost. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't, it just, it's not a huge change, but it's enough. It's enough to give you at least, it basically doubles the amount of books you have, really. Yeah, it, it's visually drastic, but, you know, unless yeah. you have people see, But yeah, I like, I like both those tricks. I've done the pull-out book thing before. Yeah. Oh, uh, another thing I have recently started doing uh, is I like making bookmarks. Bookmarks? And, yeah, they're teeny tiny, so if you have your clutter yeah. on low, you will never see them. I use walls, so like this is a wall, the smallest amount, and then I go, I think 0.02 was what I ended up doing. Like this, this is tiny. Like the, the, the UI is blocking me from seeing it, but it looks so good. I think that those tiny details are really what makes, like takes a house from okay, you see it. good to great. Well, I mean, I'm moving it. Oh, okay, the giant, okay. There we go. So it's in the first book on the left. And while it's not a huge detail, uh, it's, it, real, it's it, realistic. It, yeah, and it's it's clutter. It's a tiny little. Feeling. Yeah, it implies, absolutely. It implies that it's real. Makes your brain yes, absolutely. Blind. And there is, of course, uh, dying. Um, I try to, if I can see the tops of the books, I won't die. I try not to die them at least, because it dies the pages as well. Uh, the gray is pretty okay. Like, I dyed one of those grays just so you can see the page color difference. Oh, the fuck does it dye the pages? Yeah, right? It should only dye the outside, but whatever. It's some kind of weird skin tint. <laughs> it is! But I mean, that's just the dyeing thing. Do you have any engineer manuals? That's how I know he's been around forever. Don't! And some books, I think, are, uh, they don't look very good next to each other, like there's the tomes, not the one I'm placing, but, like, that one I just placed is good for, uh, breaking up clutter, just because of the design on it. 
Uh, do you have a tome? The tomes are hard to place next to each other because of the big metal binding on it. If I can find it, I don't know what they're actually called. No, you don't have any. Oh, it's a grimoire. So yeah, see, the, the, the binding on it is huge, and you have to be able to clip them just right so they don't look like they're just smashing into each other because of the binding. But they do, they are definitely very, very good for uh, switching it up a little bit or putting it between books. Another thing that is really good because it takes up more space is tilting the books. <laughs> that was like two books in one, which adds up eventually. <laughs> Enough books. I'm currently working on a library, so I'm pretty bitter. Oh no, they're clipping into each other. Don't look at that. Eternal shame. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, so I mean, even if we have a very limited number of books, there are so many things you can do to make your clutter actually look not just nice, but like lived in, like it's your character's plot. It's your character's library, you know? It gives it life, essentially. Yeah. I think that's that's vital for for plots. Organic is a term we like to use a lot. Yeah, yeah that's the term. Go. But yeah, that's anything real clutter, realism, relic. Oh, that is, I live for that. If my plots aren't in. bad, I die. And it's hard for uh, you know detail-oriented people sometimes. Yeah, I can see that. I know some people. Like I have a friend who builds, and her builds are so clean. And I, I just like, ooh, we clash about that. But <laughs> it's that's how she built. That's how like she needs it to be because of her personality. And so I understand that. <laughs> the way I build and this clutter is not for everyone. Some people think you should just clean it the heck up. Oh. No, it's very helpful to be able to throw some chaos in there. Oh, oh absolutely. Oh, I love it. I can't do it any. I can't build plots that are clean anymore. This is like an addiction. Put this on the ground. Someone, someone was a terrible, terrible library goer and left a book on the ground. Um, there's really not much to book clutter because we have so little books. So little. It's like sad uh, oh one thing I like to do too is uh, if you want to spice up yourselves a little bit more is uh, bookends we're gonna do the most orange thing ever and use some hoogles because hoogles are good for everything building yeah. and because you know they just they look good when they're small and they uh, they're cheap and easy to get Hmm. I'm getting the housing books. But I mean, really, too, the, the, the bookends are neat because you can theme any set of books you want with themed bookends. If you want them to be Dominion based, you know, you could use anything. I've seen people use little angels on each end, you know, for the most Dominion books you've ever seen, or whatever you want to do. You know, if you want some Granite books, you just put some rocks on each side. Boom! Books. Right, anything you can turn sideways. Yeah, absolutely. Look like a book binding. Yeah, absolutely. It helps a ton. I know too. You can put. Um, I mean, I've done this a few times. You can make your own books essentially by putting uh, more flatter things on the books, but still you can put things on the books. Like I've made, you know, for dragons, like spooky spell books and whatnot. I think we'll probably see that later. Great. Right, I'm gonna go do more of this later. Yeah, it's already more random than any other bookshelf I've ever seen. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, so all little tiny details, even even the bookmark, you can't really see um, as like an RPer. That's important because if you're having people RP, or you have someone like Zempty who's all up on your stuff, finding all the tiny details. It, it's like a little surprise for them, like, their effort 
was worth something because they found the tiny bookmark or they right. found, you know, you absolutely. The detail work. Yeah, and I, that alone makes it worth it to me. Um, I like that you're sitting on a book. You are themed. Well, yeah, and I was having a drink. So oh. it's going along with everything that was going on. If you have a drink, you can, you know, grab a nice book. And then you can sit in the pile of trash we're going to make next. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Uh, I as long to as put... there's a cardboard box, I'm happy. I, can, that can, I have built whole cardboard forts, so I'm good at those. Really? I want. Oh yeah, I built, I used to be really good at them, and I think the craziest thing someone wanted me to build was, I built a cardboard theater, basically, but it looked like a card, it looked like, you know, a cardboard fort, but it was a theater. Like it had a little stage, and like there was a little balcony for all their little plushies and all that. It was pretty cool. right. You can have puppet shows. You can do anything with cardboard boxes. I'm making. Do you guys watch Rick and Morty at all? Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm making uh, Rick's garage with a portal on it using a cardboard huh. box. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You're gonna go to that one eventually. I promise. I'm proud of that bar. That bar costs so much money. No, that's great. I love that show. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. Oh, uh, it's way too big. Whatever. Giant book. Yeah. Must have pictures in it. Obviously. These, these, these are... These are these, encyclopedia and books. this... This show is great. I want to put a bunch of books up top so to show that you don't have to do it for everyone. You know, you don't have to make every shelf uh, crazy. That should be good. Uh, see, even with the ones below it, it still looks good, you know? And you can go in and you can do the little tricks and you can make them a little... Askew. Yeah, like, even that alone looks a little different. Like, making one smaller, definitely. That is, that is a good trick I like using. Because it just immediately makes it all look different. Yeah, books. There, there's not many of them, but you can, if you try, you can make them look good. I'm not exactly sure what I want to use for the random misc clutter, though. We really don't have too much random misc clutter, do we? Yeah, no. This is all almost... the books. No, 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 it's not. I try not to use the yellow ones because they don't die well and I don't like them. I, I like them to break it up. Yeah. Yeah. Just they're bright. Look at the plot and start looking at the. I have a plot that have. Uh, I have left uh, whip for the stream, actually. Uh, because I wanted to show that it may look colored, but in all actuality, it needs a lot more. Also, it's more books, because books. Really? Oh, the library? Yeah. There's, I'm trying to cap an Orin house, a small Orin house with a library, and it's just, it's just suffering. That's one thing I will say about clutter. Like, it looks great, and it takes a lot of time, but I will not lie to you and tell you it's fun. It is suffering to build clutter. But it looks real good. It Afterwards, showing off your clutter, that's when it starts feeling good. Yeah, I've learned a lot of tricks with just the yeah. pieces. This is yeah. wonderful. I'm watching you build this, I mean. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I feel I feel like there's a lot more you were right. Like I didn't say a lot, but I feel like there's a lot more to say. But it's just a lot of it's just feeling it out. And I am very dedicated to role play. And so uh I think that your RP can totally go into it. Like your RP one hundred percent can can dictate how and where you clutter. And I think that that makes it even better. Because I'm totally one of those people who only builds for roleplay. Hmm. Only build for roleplay. Yeah, absolutely. I only build RP hubs for, like, me and my friends. That's the best use of a plot. Absolutely. Oh. Do we want? Do we want to go to the plot that's whip so I can show? Because that has like general misc clutter too. Okay, it's. it's Let's start the plot touring. All right, let's do that. Cause I feel like I've said a lot of words. Uh, wonderful. 
sweet. My Jita crashed, apparently. So that's good. There we go. Uh, the name is Fig Love Shine. Alright. Yeah. This is, I, like I, I said, this is the whip. Yeah, I've, I, I, you know, get mad at people in zone chat sometimes. It's fine. It's good. Oh, this is the plot I said you're gonna like Zempty, because it's, uh, a lot of stuff. Most of the work has been done inside. Uh, I know the space wheat looks like a lot, but it is not. Oh, mm. and the candles. Yeah. It's supposed to be like a cove beach thing. For a, a RP, of course. Also, don't run over the thing. I know the path goes straight through, but it looks good. So we're going that way. See, I told you, all I build is like magical foresty-esque things. This looks nice, though. I don't think I've been here, have yeah, I? I like no, you haven't. Way. No, I've been working on this one. This is fucking this sweet. Oh, See, this this kind of forest I can get I can get down with. Yeah, I need to do work on the boats. Oh wait, I'm gonna go. This forest doesn't going bother going me. Here. It's the forests that are so That's fucking full sweet. of trees that I can't see the other side or where I am going. Yeah, oh. Like gigantic mangroves and nothing you else. Like yeah. Nothing. You just, just both of you just completely described one of my plots. I'm feeling hey, sad. I, I love the forest with giant trees, but there are a lot of those. I didn't even get greeted by a tree butthole in this plot, so it's already fucking amazing. <laughs> I am so many. So much shame. I'm seriously getting rid of both of them because of you. But uh, this one, I actually came over here to show uh, pillow clutter because, you know, people like pillows a lot. Uh, and I think yeah, I'm that, so sick of pillows. you know, like Pillows are so too. good! Oh my gosh, it was worth my lighting limit. It's just so good. Um, but the pillows are good. I mean, if you're willing to mix them up and dye them, it helps. And sleeping bags, please use them. They're great pillows. Also, yeah, I'm really like super proud of the roof. Because it's just a bunch of leaves I stack. Yeah, I like it from that the underside. That cool. Uh, and more... Oh, candle clutter is what I wanted to come over here. Because there's a ton of, you know specific things you have to do for each kind of thing of clutter like pillows and candles and whatever greenery definitely but i guess that's more of like crafting the scenery so landscaping and landscaping essentially uh candles so when it's not even just candles any item that you're gonna clutter that you place down a good amount of I, like, for example, on this one, I started with one kind of candle, and I just went down, and I just randomly placed them. I didn't, like, resize it or actually set it nicely. You know, I basically just set it there. Um, and then I went through, and I did that with every kind. And then I went through and made sure they all looked good and were all the right size, and they all clumped up correctly. And I think that that helps your sanity when you're doing such sheer amounts of items, although this is not that many candles. Yeah, I can see how you frame the pathway, but then it, it's all little clumps of candles. Yeah, it's not just like pure stuff. Also like my bushes, those more like flowers. <laughs> okay, but the whip stuff, this is, I mean, this is pretty whip, but the, the actual whip stuff is in the, the house. My waterfall house, it's not exactly done yet. I started on this plot, and then people announced communities, so I had to go work on all my community plots. So this is general clutter, uh, but it's not. This is not done. This is, oh, I mean, yeah. Like this is basically yeah. I've got. I've put down a lot of my reference, like my you know main pieces, here. You know I make weird pieces and I, I place them and I'll set them, and then afterwards, like I said, I come in and I start cluttering. Crystals. So many crystals. Yeah, you don't get to see enough of those. It's like it's supposed to be like a spooky or a witchy kind of thing. Because my roleplay. But yeah, this is literally just focal points. Oh, and look up. I'm very proud of up. Holy shit. And upside down candles. That I really, honestly, cool. this is my favorite house to clutter. Like, this specific kind of house. Because it has built-in shelves. It's like made for it, right? I feel unsafe now. <laughs> Why? Is the roof trapped? Is the witch going to trap me in here? Oh, probably. I mean, no, she's real nice. That's okay. It's scary. I think you're full of shit. 
Look at the ceiling. Like so much stuff. I does not say I'm a nice witch. It's freaky. Maybe they're nice scented candles. That says like. You know, maybe it just smells like I'm a bakery doing some in here. Fucked up shit in here. There, there's some interesting green smoke coming off of that incense. Yeah. Oh, that's another thing I like to do. Um, if you layer, like if you actually look at the hookah, that's three hookahs. And you can uh, color them and make them so the fringe looks different. And if you sink them into the ground, it looks like an incense burner. And you get a lot more smoke and you get a lot more of the particle effects in the rings. Oh. And it looks real cool. And I do it everywhere because it's neat. Double or triple up on your hookah. Oh, absolutely. It looks great. I think, honestly, doubling and tripling and then dyeing things like this little cotton candy looking thing, I don't know what it's supposed to be. Uh, it's just, just double and triple and then spin stuff around and dye it and you've got a whole new item and it's great. Okay. It's great. And uh, this is, I, this is something I don't see people use. This is, you can use leaves for doors and they're awesome. Or it's, I, yeah. I have not actually seen that. So this is the clean uh, side of the library. Holy oh, shit. There are individual books that you placed in there too, isn't there? aren't there? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. So, and, and you can kind of see, I've this is supposed to be the cleaner side, so not, all the books aren't entirely messed up, but I have gone through and pulled them out and, you know, dyed a few here and there, uh, tilted them, put book, I think I have one bookmark. I just started the bookmark thing, so that's, you got this, uh, the new tip. Uh, and, but yeah, it, it, it helps. You know, made a little reading nook. I like my cookie on the tea. I think it's cute. Yeah. Even, if it's a, even if it's a chua cookie. Mm. Mm. But yeah, and so I'm starting upstairs, which is uh, with... This is actually three stories in here, because I like adding stuff. And so this is the random bookshelf that I started, and I thought I had two done, but I only have one done. <laughs> I started on it, and then, uh, you know, new Overwatch stuff came out, and I had priorities. But yeah, it, it shows all the little trick tricks I showed you. Um, one thing I find that makes you save your sanity is on each one, figure out what kind of books you want on that shelf, then place one of each, and then just copy and paste from there and resize, you know, so you're not just digging through your crate the whole time. Because it gets real old real fast. And, and the shelves are to show you the magnitude of the time it takes. That shelf that is done that took me two hours. Wow. I plan on filling all of these shelves. These will be completely full. And then, of course, uh, I have a pillow area on the top because that's uh, pillow clutter is clutter. It is good. Because, you know, you got to take your books somewhere cozy and stuff. But yeah, so it's a, it's a few. It's a bit. It's a bit of clutter. So I it, it just wanted to show that it's like, even if it looks cluttered, it's not done. It has to be... I think that when you're housing, it only gets good when it gets obscene. When you feel a little crazy for what you're doing, you're doing it right. It will, right. It will look good. Like, it's too much. It's too much. Yes. If you think, if you have an idea and you're like, oh, that's going to suck to do, like that is just painful, a painful idea, do it. That is the best idea it. you've had yet. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Hmm. This Effort is yeah. worthwhile. Yeah, it usually yeah. turns into something astounding. Absolutely, every time. Effort is is needed. Two hours for that bookshelf. What, what would you say is a normal sitting of building for you? <laughs> well, I'm a college student who uh, doesn't have a summer job or classes, so an embarrassing amount of time. Any given day, <laughs> yeah. Um, like how well, you go before you take a blink break. Oh, oh, never. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> no, I mean, I get up and like, I do it. I, like, uh, when I'm getting tired, I'll go and like garden and stuff because I'll hug gardens. Um, but I mean, I don't know, I'll do my clutter for a few hours and then, you know, I don't really necessarily take a blink break. I take like a build something that's not 20 books at a time break, you know? <laughs> Right, break away from the books, well, break away yeah. from the monotony. Yeah, absolutely. You guys, see, I'm gonna show you guys all my clutter, and you're gonna realize that all I do is build sp spooky rooms like this. Should we go to Yia so you can see, like, what not to do? And also so I can yeah. crash Twitch's computer? Y Yia has a tremendous amount of clutter. Oh my god. That's, she's, that's where it all began. I do, I do like her, uh, she has like an alchemy room that I've added to. 
but um, that's the only room I like here. The rest of it's gonna get canned. That's her name. Thorny is. I spell my own name wrong. It's fine. I got caught up in the green and purple smoke. So, I mean, we've, I know you guys have streamed Yia's house before, so I think I want to do more of the, like I said, the bot shop, because that has kind of like a lived-in clutter, and right. it's more of like a uh, mechanical clutter, because I tend to be more like spookier, potion -y kind of stuff, and, and nature, and that is not. But I do want to show her potion room, because that's like the first clutter I did that I really liked. And also because I recently got her a pretty new ceiling for that room, so I can show it off. Oh, cool. <laughs> Just watch them empty lag into a wall. That was weird. Yeah, so, I mean, just like, just, just looking, like, I mean, this shelf is done all right. It's okay. Um, I've gone in and dyed items since, but like, the bottle shelves, like the, the shelves with just the bottles is not very good. And if you look up, it's kind of just like random misplaced items, and there's clipping problems. It, this, like, this is not a very good shelf. It has a lot of detail, and the stacking items is always good. Um, but if, like, for example, if you looked at the stack items, not many of them are moved or twirled. Uh, not many of them are dyed. They're all straight. Like, it's a very, very uh, copy-paste go, not try. Like, I didn't really know what I was doing. So while it looks ridiculous, it could be more ridiculous, is what I'm saying, basically. I like it. Uh, yeah, this I one, mean, it reminds me of like a, a gift shop. Oh yeah, a little bit. This is the uh, one I actually like. Uh, this is the potion room. A lot of RP and stuff in here. But uh, I just got it. It's a pretty pretty ceiling flower, which I love. Cool. Not a raider, so you know, all this stuff is expensive. I got the carnivorous boss and stuff, and I added like the moving rotational bar thing. But it's it's good clutter in some spots because of the depth. Uh, some spots it's not like I've got like just like a pile of gold there that I didn't do anything with it, or you know, I put a rainbow on a shelf because that makes that's a good idea. It's not so sarcasm. <laughs> so, I mean, this is a good start, like the shelvings. The shelving is a good start because it's a ridiculous amount of shelves. You know, it's over the top, and that, that's what makes clutter good. <laughs> if you're not in pain while doing your clutter, it's not going to end up great. <laughs> it, could, it could definitely uh, be better. It's It'll get redone. Oh, oh so yeah. I, it gets worse when you go upstairs. <laughs> Everyone always likes carrot D and D. Yeah. But yeah, it's uh, it's a good start on clutter. I I mean, I think that I could definitely do better just looking at it. You know, I could fit twice as many items in here if I really wanted to. But I mean, I think tiny details, like you know, like this show, for example, I think that that helps having like little tiny itty bitty insane like why did you put two shelves on one you know like this is ridiculous and that's what makes it good or like a chew in a cup why do you need a chew in a cup i don't know oh one thing i think that makes clutter i wouldn't say better but funnier is like for example i have a tiny little power crystal on this shelf uh if someone actually understands decor and sees that kind of thing it's like why and I think that 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 emotion alone of like why is this just here is great. It's like a an inside wild star joke, you know. And I love finding stuff like that in people's houses. Like finding like you know an avatus hidden in the bottom of someone's plot uh, is just amazing. The trap uh, too appeals to me. <laughs> yeah, you shake him up for a potion so you can get some anger for it or something. <laughs> um, 
You've been through most of the house. I haven't. I really haven't done much because I can't, because it's capped. So, uh, the bot shop, however, which is outside, and I'll wait for you because you will get lost. Uh, is not. It's been worked on a bit. It's still whipped though, because everything's whipped for me all the time. I think I finished one plot, and I recently ripped that up because of communities. Ripped it up. Yeah, oh yeah, uh, I was done with Chai Starshine, and then uh, they announced communities, and so I just started ripping up all the spots I no longer liked. Oh, I'm bugged. You have to open doors for me. Yeah, I had to remove things from Mia's house to build the house inside of this, because you can actually build in this. I know a lot of people don't do it, but you can. It's not very good, because I had like a 40 item limit, but... Oh hey, I'm not bugged anymore. That was weird. So, clutter. <laughs> this is supposed to be like an Orin robot bot shop. It's uh, a lot. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, yeah, I remember this place. It is. It money. continuously gets added to. Yeah, money and vitalis and machines and... It's hidden clutter. These things are great. Oh, these things are like hidden the clutter. best items ever. Like, I need... I wish I'd gotten more of these. Um, but it's... I think with this kind of clutter, for example, like this is very RP oriented. This is all very character oriented. But it's still little tiny things everywhere. And honestly, like for example, I put this down. This is the Chua little tacos. No, not taco station. It's the Chua little thing. Um, I put it down and I added a bunch more to it because it needed it. That's and good. I think that that, yeah, that kind of clutter helps. It helps make it not just a decor piece, but your own decor piece. You know, you own it. It's unique. His name is Grumpa. He's a Grumpa. Beyond the fringe. I love, I love the Tails posters. I made a whole bar after him. Uh, this lags people. Um, so, I mean, I'm like, <laughs> even. Like, I don't even remember this, this fab kit can sometimes, like, loading into it for some reason. And also, it makes a terrible, terrible noise. What's dark. weird is, what's weird is, if you face your camera away from it, it doesn't make the noise. So, you know, just in case you don't want to hear that anymore. Uh, but yeah, see, you, it, literally, anything can be turned into anything with clutter. It does, it, there are so many items packed so tightly, generally, with clutter, it doesn't actually matter. You know, oh hey. That's funny, because I am going to RP that that's a computer, even though it's a chair. And when people sit on it, she's going to freak out, and it's going to be great. But yeah, it's, hmm. it's you, and you, I don't know, I like clutter too, because you can hide things. Like, a lot of people don't even realize she has an office up here. You can tell I built the office later. It, it definitely looks better than most of the off the bot shop. But it's a tire with the fucking... Hey man, it's it. industrial. Yeah, there's actually two more levels to this now. But those aren't really done. I can show you the general area. But yeah, th this is like your general kind of clutter and your uh, living clutter, you know? And it's it's not just something I built, it's something I built on top of a fab kit. So you can clutter up all that stuff too. We found magical... at least one, one good place for that rainbow. Yeah, yeah. This character is, is happy-go-lucky enough that she would have a rainbow. I always like this thing because it boggles people for a while. But really, if you look up, you can figure out what it is. The old Ixian thing. It's just, if you make it huge, you can actually run through the screen. And it's awesome. That is pretty nice. I like that. It's got a... Very weird... Yeah, I like the moving pattern on it a lot, and adds it, and it's so bright. Ooh, I'm getting stuck on my plot. That's unfortunate. More clutter upstairs, although I'm still working on it. I really do like the the sci-fi part of Wildstar, so it's so cool because you can just like sink machines into the ground, and all of a sudden you've got not just clutter, but you've got like weird flavor, you know? Like, what is this? I don't know. But it's a machine. 
It's a yeah. wild star machine. It could be ancient buried technology. It could be, you know, your character's a scientist. Yeah. Or pillows instead of robot head because, you know, you love pillows so much. Fuck yeah. Can't get enough pillows. Oh, absolutely not. This part up here is pretty whip. But yeah, so that's like a general, like, you know, clutter obviously isn't just for shelves, but it's, it can be, you don't have to like build everything. You can take a fab kit like this is and completely make it your own just by cluttering things up. I'm trying to think yeah, it of looks different. like the fab kit. Yeah, I, like I see the normal fab kit now and I'm like, weird. Because I've spent so much time here. Yeah, yeah. I, I, when I run around that thing on other people's plots, I'm like, this is so empty. Um, I'm trying to think of. We made that whole list and now I can't think of what plots I want. <laughs> show you clutter wise because I've got bar. oh yeah but do you want to do you want to see the bar the bar is at least one of them on the list bottle yeah. clutter yeah, do you want to see the bottle the bottle clutter I'm so glad it's not letting me type again I need to reload my UI oh gee to crash that's good Why? There we go. Zaya Hellripper. So you can't get to the most of this plot, but you can get to the bar. Because the rest of the plot is only going to be accessible on the community. Because I like the idea. Got. More spooky plots! more spooky forest plots. Turn your gamma down. That's, that's what I did. <laughs> Still gonna get lost. The rest is pretty, like these shops and stuff on the outside are pretty whip because it's gonna be an RP plot and other people are gonna be building there. But yep. all of this is pretty much on hold now for the uh, communities. So this is a little less than 2000 bottles and other misc items on the shelf and it has this i made this with the same exact thing i explained earlier just focal points and lights and also it's a neutral bar for roleplay if you're interested thanks It's, uh, it's a few. Like, in RP, it's supposed to be a bottle, or it's supposed to be a bar that has anything you asked for. Also, if you look up, it goes all the way up. Although the bottles on the top, uh, you can tell, are not there just a single row. I really need to go in and double them all up. Because, you know, you wow. can tell the con Yeah. This is just... There's... Uh, I think I did about 75 unique bottles in there. Oh, and down here you can see all the stuff I clipped. Like, uh, I got a whole new bottle with the green one by clipping in an inspector's desk. Uh, there's the beer bottles. Uh, oh, and see the, the cooler there, the beer cooler? That's hiding the head. For the beer bottles. Hmm. Yeah. And you I mean you can put anything on a shelf? Like I really super love putting the beehive, the the bee platforms. What are they called? The honey extraction platforms. Like those are great. Like they they look like little kegs. And I've clipped Ooh. I think one more. Yeah, I've got one more up there because it just it looks like little bottles, and it's it's totally, you know, good. There's a. I spent about two weeks on this. Look at all I was of just it. standing on some beer taps, staring at one spot at a time, and I did it in chunks. Boy, it's crazy. So much. I'm still adding to it, too. That's a like, lot. I got. Yeah. There's a, there's a few a few items on there. I really need all the different Halloween spooky items. 
I really like interactables, like Twitch keeps finding, like I've got that bench for the barkeep and I've got like a stool above the doorway for people to sit on, so it looks like they're perched up there and I like things you can actually physically use. Yeah, this is a cozy little nook. Yeah. With a gun, it's fine. It's a bit of a CD bar. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this place. It's just, it is massive. Why did you like it? I spent so much time. Not only, not only the clutter, but the shelving. Right. Oh, the shelving took me so long. Because <laughs> at first I was trying really to use the shelving. I was trying to use boardwalks, and that didn't work. And then I found these pictures, and they're the the grain on them is so good. And I figured, I mean, I'm gonna be putting bottles on them anyway, so the 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 nail doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's uh, and you can see like it's it's deep. It's not just the bottles. Like there's actual depth to to every single piece. I can see now the backlighting you were talking about earlier. Yeah, it it helps. It like brings it. It's like little spotlights. Yeah, little spots. so much you can't you can't look at it all i really actually the uh, the newly released mordash decor and the newly released uh madam face stuff is all they're both just amazing for clutter because um like the tribal drum which i have a huge one or there's three huge ones i need to one more yeah they're um, cool yeah the the glow on them is amazing for clutter and the uh, mordash stuff has a slight flicker to it i've got a couple of them on there because they look like bottles uh I've got a couple on there that, and they totally flicker in lights too. And the, the lights die when you uh, dye them. Like they actually change color, which is great. Yeah, it's, it's, all those little moving lighting flickery things are amazing focal points. I'm also really proud. The bar, I guess, is technically clutter. That's like a hundred items for a bar. It's supposed to look like cobble. Yeah, it's rickety looking. Yeah, yeah. It's supposed to, it's a little bit of a seedy place, you know. Like, there's good drinks here, but you might also get stabbed. It's fine. Hmm. Hmm. This is my. This is a great place. This. Is a great... <laughs> Yeah, uh, I have to I turn I... around three times just to look at all, all the way up. Yeah, it's it's intense. It kind of sucks because I can't actually get a good screenshot because it's so big. Yeah, I know. I took one the last time I was here, and I couldn't get everything. Yeah, it's like you just cut off just barely any of it, and then you don't. It you either can't get the actual bar or the top of you know up up top. Oh, also, I have a little monkey up there, and her name is Betsy, and she's spooky, and I like her. I gave her own little backlight, so, she, so she'd, like, pop. Or what I are they? Would, They're not monkeys. I, I would want to show this in the better lighting, so that uh, oh. you can see just, like, how well you put placed everything together in this lighting. I can switch if you want. I'll do that. Yeah, it still it looks insane. It still shows the same grouping. It's just way more sharp and colorful. It's crazy looking. You make your eyeballs explode. A little bit. Get some dragons on this stream. There's so much going on here. You can totally just stay in here for hours just staring at shit. Oh, it's oh, doing so it. much worse. Okay. Oh, this is Zaya. Yeah. Lighting. Can I just remove the lighting? Go to default. It'll let me. You might have to switch back and forth. I've had that yeah. problem. There we go. Holy lighting. crap.
Yeah. Wow. Oh, the lighting looks crazy. I've only put it on like neon. I should put it on neon to trip out Zempy. This is really sharp, though. Yeah. Look at the colors in that. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I end up using the foggy light because the trim I want to use is super shiny, and I don't like it shiny, but if you put it on a foggy light, it's not shiny. Yeah, I like the hazy or diffused look. Yeah. Make it look a little seedy. Everything here is sharp. All the glass looks crisp. Yeah. Very warm color. And I do like using, I'm not, I'm very sparing with my particle effects, uh, or not sparing, but very particular. Like I put uh, this toxic sludge, very, like I put it right in the middle to just kind of like cut it, because it's just so much. So there's this particle effect just right down the middle to try to like make it a little less overwhelming, because it, it's like a visual cut essentially. Okay, nice. Another breakup. Yeah, yeah, it, it helps. The breakups are very, very important. I just always like this because you can see better the, the different colors that you used. Yeah. You know, when you, colors are when you dye things, yep. The detail is amazing. It took, it took a good a long time, a long time. And I'm also someone who really just has to finish what I start. So, <laughs> like, I tried to do other things, but I just, I knew I needed to finish these shelves, man. Yeah, you're one of the few builders I know who says, you know, my plot is complete. Yeah, I finished plots. I mean, now I don't have any finished plots anymore because communities were released, but are going to be. But I used to. I'm also someone who, uh, I like cannot bring myself to say a plot isn't done until I am decor capped. It has to be decor capped. But that's not exactly that's, hard for me. That's an understandable standard. Like if there's potential for me to do more, I can't. I feel like I should drop bring down some of my favorite bottles. So I'm of, I mean there's a lot of them are just kinda like I slap something I liked on a bottle, but some of them came out really good. Put them on my little workstation. I really like uh, this one came out really well. It died really well. It's like supposed to be like Elden. I call it the drunken Elden off an old RP spot. That's long dead. But you know. Looks Elden green. Yeah, right. Um, this and these are mostly just ones that died really well. Uh, is that enough? Grab the wrong piece. I also like this uh, inset uh, granatini drink. Yeah, I, I like it. It's kind of like a, you know, it's like a picture of it now. Right, you made a different uh, container out of it by sinking it. I like my eyeball one, because mostly because it died so stupidly well. Yeah. Like, that is insane. Oh, where's my backstabber? Like, I, like yeah. my I, I like those pieces, though, the eyeball and the bottle. Mm. Yeah, I, I think it looks great. Uh, the few I have up here, oh, uh, the few I have up here I tend to like, and this pink, this, or this green one here with the protostar label is uh, supposed to be that pickle schnapps I was talking about earlier. Pictures, pictures alone are amazing for bottle clutter because you can just make them your label and it looks great. I can't find my favorite bottle. It doesn't stand out very much if you look at it right away. No, I like the one with the bow tie. Everyone likes the bow tie one. Yeah, I actually I stole that, that from Nia's. Right that, that, I did that on Nia's originally, and then I uh, uh, wanted it here. Where is? Oh, do you uh, do either of you have either of you played WoW? Yeah. At all? Yeah. Um, I say that this one next to the pickle shops with the little hat and little brain inside. Uh, I say that one is basically like Kaja Cola. So you drink it and you get an idea. Huh. I think that's cute. I'm getting mad I can't find this bottle. This is, I should have expected this. That, oh, there it is. I say that, I found it. Call this one the backstabber because I put all the sharp objects in it and it looks funny. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know. I think that um, 
it brings it to a whole new level making your own bottles and like coming up with little names and whatnot like it's it, it, it adds to it absolutely good clutter is I, I think it definitely adds a lot to everything right, good here. job this is crazy yeah it's insane really I'm gonna, I'm gonna upset it's a, you in a good way it's been a good video are you ready to be upset empty why I heard you don't like this like what the, the, the neon colors this lighting not bad. It's, it's not bad in here. I kind of like the pink more, shelves. It's more, yeah, it's more pink and red than green. Yeah, I'm kind of digging that actually. I mean, I'm gonna, it's not gonna stay like that, but I'm digging it. I, I can't look, it's empty. He's too bright. Yeah, you're pretty bright, yeah. Um, should we go to another one? Or. Yeah. Yeah, I think we've got our eyes full here. Yeah, a few bottles there. Uh. Um, do you want to go look more at the... I mean, you look a, look a lot at the Vala one. That, um, Draken house. Is it with the all the clutter. Yeah, you were recently there. Night spell. Yeah, so... I mean, you were in that... You were in the house for a while. Yeah, I remember that one. Super um, cool that one. Yeah, that was, that was unexpected. That was an unexpected tour. Uh, I also, I have a house on Chai Sarshine, like the inside of a house that is cluttered, that I just did more shelves that are, it's like plants and stuff. You want to do that one? Sure. Sounds good. That one is not on hot price still. I don't think it is. I held an RP event there yesterday. No, it's good. I just realized I've been talking for like two hours. It's gonna be a long video. No! Close your eyes when you come here! Don't look at it! What? Don't look at the tree butthole! I feel so shame. The uh, house. Thing. Yeah, you've been here. Get that too. Get it the, uh... A little swamp overhanging at the end of the tree butthole as well. So. Yeah, and and I have a stone door. You adorned it. No, this bar it this bar is shameful. I don't like this bar. I ran out of decor space with this bar. I this remember is, this place. Yeah, yeah, you were here. This was this this one got its own YouTube video even. It was so long. And this this one has gotten ripped up. The house I want to show you though is in the back because I can't do a lot of clutter outside. I'm going to be able to when they release, like, uh, we're gonna cheat. Uh, when they release communities, I'm gonna be able to clutter, and I'm gonna clutter the heck out of this place, but. Yeah, I, uh, I ripped up that side of the plot and put a construction thing down. <laughs> it makes it look whip, right? Well, it does. <laughs> so it's fine. Uh, this is. Uh, I kind of like this because I made tiny biomes and they are just amazing for clutter. Oh, yes. And I've slowly been adding to this. I've got a few things. Oh, I, put, I was playing with lighting and I forgot to take a light down. Don't look at that. It's shameful. But yeah, it's uh, you know, this is like general. It's 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 both. It's plant clutter and general clutter, and you know, like even like nice looking clutter. Like this round shelf is supposed to be more things to show off, and it still looks pretty cluttered. I really like biomes though. They're like little tiny, too many items. I had a little curg on them for a while, but that bug where they get huge kept happening. Oh hey, and wall clutter. That's gonna be a whole new wall one. Wall clutter, yeah. I got a lot. I'm I do that on all my plots because I have terrible problems. I wish there was more wall stuff. I think you got it all right there. Yeah, I mean, there's more over here too, but 
there's some more upstairs, but there's not much. Wow, this place sucks when you're big. More desk clutter. It was just, I don't know, it makes, like, if this, compared to the rest of the plot, like, this this part stands out because of all the clutter, because it looks like, it looks like someone's office. It looks like someone lives here. It's not just clean. Yeah. I think we lost Twitch. I'm looking around Tails. Oh, okay. I haven't been here in a while. It's a rookie hub if anyone's entrusted. I'm just gonna keep, you know, <laughs> advertising with one thing I do like is, so I don't like using the prefab shelves like this too much, but for example, like, the Christmas ones look amazing as, like, shelves on shelves for smaller things. Like, they are great for that. Also because I had so many on this character for some reason. Yeah. That's this is a much smaller, not as well done one because it shares. I have three houses on this plot, so I have to kind of limit it. So I've got the Ocean House, this house, and the Proto House. But it's a, uh, it's you know, it's cozy. some good clutter. Yeah, it's cozy. I don't like it. It's like a weird orange boss thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think I have. I mean, you've been to Valas. I don't know. I mean, I have other clutter, but it's not done. It takes so long. It takes so long. I have, like small space clutter. Eventually, I'm going to be able to show you guys a thing we've been working on for like our RP plot. That's a bunch of uh, people building in different rooms. And I've, I've got a bunch of clutter there, but it's not my plot. It's not done yet. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's like an RP space thing, and everyone's building their own little living quarters. Which, you know, yeah. it's pretty common, but it's fun. One thing I like here is, uh, while I say to make every, you know, I, I said that everything looks better when it's different, uh, I have all these plants, and I have them all in the same bowl, but the uniformity kind of looks good with all the different variety of plants, you know? So it, it makes the eye go more to the plants than to the different bowls or whatever you have. But I'm realizing I dyed one and I don't like how it looks. <laughs> do you use sets for clutter? What do you mean sets? Like you do make a, a no, never, a ever, bunch and then and then no. save it. Yeah, ever, I, never, like, ever. I had to ask that. No, uh, I actually uh, like I don't even like to use the set stuff in Katia. Uh, I used it to make one plot once uh, because I I was making a botanist plot and I needed a bunch of fencing and I didn't want to do that for the entire plot. But I uh, I don't really like using that. I think it looks a bit too clean cut for my style. So I hand place everything. I think it looks better. I think you can you can absolutely tell. Yeah, I think for this style oh, it would would be better. Yeah. Just to hand place everything. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think I absolutely think that tool has a million uses, but for what I do, it, it's not very fitting. Because I don't don't really like clean builds. I mean, of course, I use Katia for like copy paste and clone and stuff. Like I would basically die without that. <laughs> But it's, you know. No, I'm just looking around your plot at all the all the different colored trees. I've got my gamma down, so. I can oh, see I'm so sad about it. I, huh? I, well, no, I had a really super good canopy. Like my canopy was a lot thicker up top, um, but then I loaded my character's plot into the communities on the PTR, and my mangroves and everything. Not my mangroves. My uh, umbrella trees were so huge; they were taking up like a third of at least two of the other plots. <laughs> like, just eating the other people's plots. So, I had to change it. Oh, wow. I like the color. Yeah, I love... I I tried to make the, the canopy just, like, a medley of colors. I'm trying to think... I mean, there's so much stuff on this plot alone that's cluttery. Yeah, that's what I'm basically running around. I'm looking at all the organic stuff. Oh! You know, I mean, so I'm talking about like mass clutter, but well-placed clutter. There's a here, follow me. There's um, 
there's like a difference, you know, between it doesn't always have to be messy to be cluttered and look nice. Like for example, I've got a boat yeah, up here. And it's like a romantic spot. Mostly because yeah, I wanted I to build that. pretty Yeah. So I'm bringing it's empty to see because it doesn't have to be like messy clutter. It doesn't have to be six hundred bottles. You know. No, there's a lot of it that's just cozy or lived in. Yeah, absolutely. And then, you know, not everyone's RP character's messy. Most of mine are mostly because I want them to have clutter. This is all very whip. I never finished it because I ran out of space, which sucks. Um, so like, so on this boat, for example, it's got clutter, but it's not messy clutter. It's very well-placed things set to give it personality. Like I've got the two plushies kind of on the bed, but they're kind of hidden. You know, you've got your bottles and all the, you know, towels for when you're swimming and all that jazz. But it, it doesn't have to be like terrible messy clutter. Like even just like this table has got just a few little items on it that helps. Like if this was just a blank, blank empty table, it wouldn't look as good. I don't know. I think even just a little bit of it makes it go from a good build to a great build. Because it really is just, it's the last thing you do, you know? The, the, the items you're placing down for clutter and for lived-in look is the polish. So it's, it's needed. Organic look. Yeah. I always get kind of salty about this part of my plot. Cause no one ever realizes how expensive it is. Because, uh... -huh. uh it's a bed. Un no, not the bed. Uh, we're standing on, like, three dragon hordes. If you look down. It's fine. It's good. Because they're the only gold pieces you can get that are flat on the bottom. It's fine. It's good. And they couldn't be huge because I've got stuff underneath this. It's fine. Oh, I'm looking. I, I don't know. And I think it just looks good. It looks like it's a wishing well sort of thing filled with coins. Yeah. yeah. I, I like Clutter. how everything on the boat is kind of dyed a uniform color. Yeah, it's all like you know, it's supposed to be like cheesy romantic romance. Yeah. yeah, it's like cheesy. Yeah, the window and the clean couple clutter. of the bottles. It doesn't even have to be all messy. It can be right, nice and clean uni it's clutter. uniform yeah. and it all fits. It's definitely cozy looking. This, I built this. Don't look at this one. This one has like pre—that's pre-built stuff. <laughs> I used like the bookshelves there because I needed to save space. I very, like, I'll use bookshelves if I know I'm near cap and I need it, but I won't use stuff like that often. Because I think it looks so much better when you do it yourself. I don't know what else I need to say. I don't know what other plots I have or what else I can say on it. There's uh, so much. I think, I think, think I'm out of plots. Yeah, you I did. I about everything. I think I said a lot. Books and oh, bottles. Man. Books and bottles and... I mean, there's plants, but that's like a whole different thing. It's like a whole different thing. Yeah, dropping plants organically is a talent. I just like using them for paths. Like, don't go this way, there's a bunch of flowers. <laughs> Even those empty, you know, ignores all paths ever, it's fine. I do, don't I? You do! And as someone who works very hard to make pathing, it's upsetting. Yep, I've heard this before. <laughs> but you work so hard to have like a go this way sort of thing. I eventually do it, but I gotta check out everything. That's I have a system. Fair. See, the, see, I understand that makes sense too though, because like I may have pathing, but I have this this plot. I mean, I removed a ton of them with the other, with what I've deleted but like there's a ton there's a ton of hiding spots that the paths do not lead you to because I like hidey holes they're fun yep yeah, I'm in one a couple of beds here oh yeah those are supposed to be little living areas and stuff oh that way that was that's like the spooky yeah. secret necro shaman like area this is all game. getting crated this is all getting destroyed there's a fancy bed back there yeah oh. yeah Oh, this is all... Oh, oh, you didn't... Oh, no. The, the big cave is this way. It's like three beds. Oh, and a picture of a dragon lady. So did we, did we actually talk... Covered everything? I think so. I think what we the hell just happened? Clutter. 
I haven't looked at the document, but I think so. Yeah, Let's I mean, I had back to my house. Whoops. Oh, that's a bug. Suddenly. But yeah, I mean, that's it. I think, like, the most important thing I can say is just be patient and take time. And you'll get great color. And it'll look great. Oh. And also have, like, 600 bottles. Minimum. Have you got anything to add to it? No, it looks great. I, I I agree. It's it's all fantastic looking stuff. A lot of tricks I've learned already. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad to help. I'm very happy to have the opportunity to share. Well, thank you for joining us. This wonderful adventure and the clutter. Thanks for having me. This is this is a lot of fun. And you know the deal. Thanks for stopping in and hanging out and watching this video and all that shit. Thanks for watching and all that yep, shit. Thanks for watching more Corner Orins. Yeah, thanks for watching more Corner Orins. I forgot what else to say, so see you guys later.